I have to have this thing ready by when? I only have nine more days to have this thing ready to go? Oh man, I'm f Welcome back to the Skill Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. It's week four, episode five of the Monthly Mayhem Challenge Ultra Fusion Edition. And again, our thanks to ProLine for providing the base of this Monthly Mayhem Challenge, the ProLine SC Fusion Short Course Truck. It is a awesome chassis. It has been so much fun to convert this into an Ultra 4 truck. I am nearing the end of this build and it's very close. Mostly because it has to be. I am on a plane in nine days to go to ProLine by the fire, and uh, uh, things not really totally finished yet. I'm close, I'm very close. A lot has happened, uh, mostly because I've been so busy at work, and not a lot has happened on the truck. But I think I've made some significant changes, some significant progress, and because this is the final week, this is all you're going to see before the actual truck is finished and actually at ProLine by the fire. So unfortunately there are some things that are still missing. Uh, some decals that I had a very good friend uh, design for me are not yet ready for the truck. Unfortunately, they're stuck somewhere at the airport. Uh, I had them couriered here as quickly as possible, but they still didn't arrive in time. So those are missing. Uh, but what has changed, what has been very significant is that most of the weathering of the body is done. The interior pieces are done. The tires, I changed them out. They used to be Proline Hyrax 2.2s that we converted to 2.2 3.0 style to match the uh, wheels that we are using to match the 17 mil hex that is on the Proline Fusion SC. In one of my earlier videos, I was sort of lamenting not having an actual scale replica tire and somebody at Proline, one of the angels at Proline heard me say that and sent me some new old stock of the ProLine BF Goodrich Baja TA KR2 2.2 tires that I could destroy. They actually sent me uh, six in case I screwed it up and that is an entirely possible scenario that I would screw it up. Uh, luckily I didn't though. All four tires are converted 2.2 to 3.0 and they look awesome. I'm really happy with this tire. I think that it's gonna be just as good a tire as the Hyrax in terms of the conditions that we'll be running in. Uh, they look awesome too. They're a little bit shorter than the Hyrax, so they have a little more scale proportion. Still not perfect, of course, uh, because this chassis was never really designed to be doing what I've done with it, but I think it looks really good. You will also notice that most of the weathering has been completed, and I couldn't be happier with how it's turned out. I used a mix of the airbrush paint provided by ProLine. That stuff goes on really, really nicely. I was able to make up my own colors because you can mix these as much as you want. Uh, unlike spray cans, it's uh, a lot more versatile in that regard. Uh, there's a lot of weathering in terms of some sophisticated finishes, uh, which is the rust-based paint. Uh, where is that? This is the iron metallic surfacer. You use this uh, and you're supposed to have like an activator, but it's basically just um, like an acid. So I, I use vinegar actually to activate it now and it works just fine as you see here. Uh, I used it sparingly. A uh, little bit of rust goes a long way. I just apply the rust paint with a brush. I tend to water it down a little bit so it uh, flows a little bit better. And then I uh, let it sit for a few minutes and then apply the activator, in this case just plain old white vinegar. Uh, and you get a very similar result to this. I think it looks fantastic. Um, not only does it look really good, but it's real rust, so it will continue to oxidize as it gets exposed to the elements, which is really cool. Uh, it really helps make uh, a Lexan body really kind of look like a hard body, if I'm honest, and I'm pretty impressed with the results. I also did extensive work to the RC Nerds interior pieces. They are complete, they are ready to go, and I think they're looking really, really good. Uh, I did another little bit of sophisticated finishes. I added a few uh, uh, scale details like these uh, harnesses here that you see. Um, again, did a lot of airbrushing to kind of vary the paint quality and uh, the surface, and I just think it looks really awesome. It still has to be glued into place, but 
uh, that's coming pretty soon. Uh, you'll also notice that the dashboard is finished. You're not going to get a lot of great shots of it on video, unfortunately, because it's already mounted inside the cab. But there is uh, one of my 3D printed uh, Lowrance style uh, GPS systems in there. Uh, you can get that on Shapeways. I'll put a link in the description below if that's something you're really keen on. But uh, this dashboard looks really awesome. Now that it's weathered, now that it's painted, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. As we get down to the deadline, I'm gonna to try to add a few more details here and there just to really kind of scale it out and take advantage of all those Sorka points that Josh isn't gonna get. Boom, roasted. Uh, I've also tried printing inner fenders three different times now. Um, <laughs> my designs in my head and then on paper and then in the computer and then printed out never really seem to turn out exactly as I'm anticipating them turning out. So uh, there's a little bit of work to do there uh, and they will get done uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. So of course, I hope you will stay tuned for the finale, which we will be filming at Proline by the Fire the weekend of May 17th, I think is the right date. Uh, so yes, some details still to come, but overall I'm really pleased. And since this is the last episode before we cut to ourselves at Proline by the Fire, I do have to thank a few people. Of course, Proline for providing the SC chassis, uh, the tires as well, uh, a lot of guidance along the way and a lot of encouragement from some friends there. Uh, Josh for participating in this event and all of you for watching this video, commenting, telling me what to do, telling me what not to do, and just generally being really supportive. Thank you very much. It's because of you guys that we do these things. So your interest and your involvement is going to push us to do more. And I really cannot thank you enough for that. With that in mind, of course, on May 15th, we will be starting our budget build off using the Traxxas TRX4 Sport Kit. That is going to be a lot of fun to watch, and I definitely suggest that you uh, stay tuned for that. There's going to be a lot of really cool twists that we're adding this time around to the budget build uh, that we haven't done in previous years. So this is going to be a lot more exciting, I think, to watch and to follow along with and to try to replicate down the road, too. I think overall this is a pretty decent replica of the race tractor, and I happen to have noticed, and thanks to a couple of very smart savvy viewers out there the actual race tractor is for sale and i suggest that if i win this monthly mayhem challenge which would put me up two to one over josh if i happen to win this one i think we should make josh buy the race tractor <laughs> if you agree put a comment down below and tell me what you would pay for the actual race tractor of course, as always, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you get an update anytime there's a new video from the Scale Builders Guild. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again at Proline by the Fire.